Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, this is Ryan from GFX Port. Uh, today, I'm finally going to start showing you guys how to do the beta layouts. Um, it is a pretty easy concept. Uh, you want to start off with your channel basically normal. Um, we'll start off with that. But yeah, pretty much going to learn how to put all this fun stuff like the background and make it fuse around the sides and pretty much look good, uh, just like how my other tutorial for the first YouTube layout designs. Um, so first we want to start off with going to, well here I got to remove all this stuff anyway so let's get rid of this. And you want to, uh, let's get rid of that too, save changes and then themes and colors. You want to start off with like a, a white background is good because we're going to be tracing it, we're going to be using it to help us out here as a guide pretty much. Uh, for everything else, we want to color in. Pretty much want to make everything a dark color so that we can see where the border lines are. Why is that not changing? Yeah, so you want to turn your opacity down, uh, turn it to none, and we're going to start off with a white background, and this background color we'll leave at black, wrapper color we want to make to like a brighter color so we can see it when we're tracing it, so I'm going to go with uh, a gray looks good there. So yeah, as you see, you can see the black corners here, which we're going to be tracing to be able to make this design with, so that pretty much looks good right there so I can trace it. Alright, so just save it, and you want to go to, well you press F11 and go to full screen, and we want to do print screens here, and we do this simply by going to pressing the print screen button, and you print screen it, and we go back here to Photoshop, we want to open it up, it doesn't really matter the size, you actually want to make it a little bit higher because we got to make another print screen, so we go like 2000. And you want to make sure this is all the way up top or somewhere around the area, the general area for the tracing part. So now we want to go back and do another print screen. So we go back here, make a print screen, but we want to scroll down and go back to full screen by pressing F11 on uh, Internet Explorer. And you do another print screen like so. Go back to Photoshop and paste that. Okay, we gotta zoom in here. And we pretty much wanna line it up so it fits in good. As you see, that is lined up right there. As you see with the Photoshop, if I move it down, it won't be lined, see? So you wanna align it first and get these two alignments done. And as you see, that's gonna be our template, but we're gonna cut around it here. I'll show you the steps in a second. So first you want to merge these two layers together, Control e after you select them both, you hold Shift and click the one below it, press Control e And then now we want to pull out the rectangular marquee tool. And what we're going to be doing here is simply tracing around that gray line. So you want to trace around the gray outline and go all the way down. And you get that. Well, actually, first, there's that little gap up here that comes with the template when you do the print screen. So when you, you want to make sure you add in this gap or uh, your layout will be offset a little bit. So actually, yeah, redo that and add in that gap with your selection. And bring the selection all the way down. And Control-C to copy. Now you can delete that whole layer and paste this new layer. And it doesn't really matter where it is positioned right now. We're going to be uh, fixing that in a second. So you pretty much want to go around. You want to remove these inner white spots here. So simply just make the selection here. Bring it over and press delete. Alrighty, so that pretty much leaves us with that right now. Um, 
So now we want to recopy this whole layer. So Control A to select the whole canvas, and then Control C to copy. And then you go File New, and it's going to make the template perfectly in the middle. So we're going to work around that right now. Um, you can change the width of it and stuff, but first we still want to do some more selections here. Like if you want to uh, change the middle middle parts, you can do that. Uh, I'm just making a template which will be for available for a free download. So you simply just want to go around to all these extra boxes that uh, YouTube has and make selections for them. And if you hold shift down while you have the rectangular marquee tool out, you can make more selections at once. So so we want to do that. So you go around and select all the inner black boxes here I got. So you just see this one right here too. Hold, holding the shift key though. And one thing I found with Photoshop, uh, it's not like flash. You want to make sure that your selection is right on the line. So you want to have it like, uh, you see where my cursor is right now? You don't want to go to the outside like that so it'll select the outside. So you want to go in towards the middle. So holding the shift key again, go around and make your selections. And you pretty much just do this for all the parts that are necessary. Um, as you see uh, on the middle parts, uh, well the right side column, that's where people usually put their latest updates and their videos and their comments. So what I'm going to do here is just make one giant selection. Instead of copying uh, this other stuff like this box here, I'm going to copy both of them. So we pretty much just want to get that all copied up there. Um, I'm going to hold the shift key again here and fix up these selections. It's very, very basic stuff. Uh, you're pretty much just tracing the layout so we can um, have a decent template to work with to uh, put our background around it correctly. So you see I got my selection there. So we want to press Control C. Oh wait, got to go back on layer one, press Control C and then Control V. And that's going to paste our new layer. So we can go here and then as you see we have that layer now. So we can even make a background that goes all around the whole content area if you want. Alright, so layer two here, let's put this layer back. We can change the colors of them, but first we, we want to uh, resize our canvas. So we go to image, canvas size, pixels. I usually use uh, 2000, which works pretty decent. Uh, for height, the height's already actually pretty good. Uh, uh, 1100 is good because you want to save your quality. You don't want your layout going too, too long because it uh, ruins your quality when you go to save for web which would be at the, end, at the end of the tutorial here. So uh, we'll actually we'll leave it at 1300 and we're going to bring it up. You want to make sure your selection is pointed up for your anchor so your image stays in the middle and at the top. And then you click OK and it's going to make our new sides of our background here. And this is where our background is going to be going around this whole layout. As you see this white part up here, we can remove this now by simply selecting that layer, layer one, and simply just removing it. And I think I selected that wrong, so yeah, it's right there, that's perfect. And delete that, and we want to go back to the background, and I'm gonna go with a black background. It's uh, a lot less on uh, quality when you go to save it. You want to make sure that middle is black too on there. Alright, so we got the black background as you see here. You take this out. It's going to be all different with this. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go to blending options here. And we're just going to change these two colors. So we'll change this one to, uh, I don't know, we'll just leave it red for the time being. And then this one, we'll change it to blending options. We'll change it to a white. 